Good morning, everybody. How's everybody going or doing this morning? Meandering Newfoundlander here. Yeah, yeah I like using fake names. <laughs> Makes me feel special. Anyway, guess what? It's another beautiful day here in St. John's, Newfoundland, all the way up in Cowan Heights. So guess what that means? No, I don't even have to make you guess anymore because if I'm doing this, you know darn well I'm going for a motorcycle ride. So guess what? I'm going for a motorcycle ride. Here, I'll show you where I'm going. Right here is the map of Newfoundland and we are not going up towards St. Anthony. And again, we're not heading over towards Port of Basque. Not going down around St. Pierre or Miquelon, which is actually close to where my parents live, right there on the heel of the boot. Now, we are doing this little route today, and I'll show you in more detail. There, is that a little better? So basically, I'm gonna be leaving St. John's right here and making my way along to Trans Canada, past Holyrood and those places, past Whitburn, all the way up to my first stop, which will be Sunnyside. And I'm debating on come by chance. I'm not 100% sure. But either way, I'm definitely going to be going down to Arnold's Cove, which is right here, in Southern Harbor, and Little Harbor East. Chance Cove is just on the map. I'm not going there. So that's my plan for today. Well, we're only about two and a half kilometers from the turn off for Sunnyside. I'm going to be doing the same thing I usually do. I got a couple communities to go through, so I'm basically going to ride through some clips from my action camera on bike. And hopefully the wind is uh, slow enough that I can put up my drone because I'm really itching to get my drone up out here. So I was out here a couple of years ago and had a coffee, a little boil up right next to this nice miniature lighthouse and that it was a uh, it was quite a little setup he had and I imagine that would look really nice from a drone so uh, that's an open so uh, what's this the sign right here is come by chance Sunnyside one kilometer all right so we'll see you in Sunnyside so just about there And here is the welcome to Sunnyside sign. So, got to go in and get a picture taken with it. Probably shouldn't go out there. Let's see. There we go. This is good enough to get a pose. Welcome to the town of Sunnyside. And ladies and gentlemen, here's beautiful Sunnyside. Look at that. Speed limit is only 30. It's going to be hard to maintain that. <laughs> I fall asleep at 31, so 30 might just knock me right out. If I remember correctly, they had a nice uh, war memorial here as well. It's, uh, it's actually one of the nicer ones I've seen. It's on the other side of the harbor there. A 
it open. A little bit of a breeze, but it looks a bit over that way. See the trees moving. Well, if you ever come, there's a perfect spot there to uh, true sound look at. Got a few uh, info boards there. So now I can say I've been to Sunday Set twice. Actually, no, three times. I came here when I was probably 16 or so with a girl I was dating and her parents. So this is my third time here. Third time's a charm, is that what they say? I feel like I missed a turn or something. Actually, no, what's happening is Google Maps is trying to get me to continue on to Arnold's Cove, which is our next stop. Once you get into these communities, I know I keep repeating this, but it's almost like they all have the same, uh... oh, I forget what the word I'm looking for is now. Basically, they all look similar. They're similar in how they're built, how they're laid out. I guess there's only one way to lay them out. <laughs> Houses on one side, ocean on the other. Boats, lots of boats. Little miniature lighthouse there. B and B cafe. That's not the one I stopped at though. When I stopped it was here, but it looks like it's gone now. Pretty sure that was it. Unless every house has one, which is possible. Town Hall, Recreational Wellness, Post Office, Harborview Trail, Lines Club. Well, I'm not doing any hiking. And right here is the memorial I was telling you about. I'll stop here and show this to you first before I go anywhere. Nice big poppy. Lest we forget. Here we have all the Sunnyside residents who served with honor. World War One. World War II. And of course post World War Two. Newfoundland Regiment. Well, 
Navy. Lost in the Battle of the Atlantic. Every single one of these monuments or memorials you see across our province has such powerful meaning to them. Well, I'm going to continue on over a little bit further over that way. And then we'll turn around and make our way to Arnold's Cove. Time to get into bikes again. Last time I was out, I didn't come all the way over here. I'd say we're getting close to the end now. So I'll go back and get my drone up. That's it for uh, summer side. I'm gonna find somewhere to, uh, or sunny side. I gotta find somewhere to turn around, I think. Because I don't know what's up further and I hate to waste my time. But looking at Google Maps on my screen, it shows that uh, we're gonna be driving by the ocean again. There goes my plan of keeping this down to about 30 minutes. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get many down below 30 minutes. And there she is, wide open. It's about to turn around. Bit of a bump. Sunny side, 50 plus club. Perfect. I'm 52 this summer. A little memorial garden or something. Alright, I'm going to hit pause on the video now because you don't need to watch Sunnyside from this angle.
nice spot out there to sit. Chair right under the wharf. I think I'm gonna pull into that little uh, rest area I seen up here a little ways. Not sure what kind of clips I can get from there, but uh, now to find it. <laughs> I thought it was closer, but I guess it's up further. Where all those information boards are, that's where I'm going to stop, I think. There is quite a breeze, so I'm not sure how high I can put my drone up. We shall see one step at a time, right? Find a place to sit and get comfortable first. This is good spot, any? I can't even talk. This is as good a spot as any. Man, no wonder my videos drag out so much. True sound lookout. Old anchor. side remembers the first world war lots of information there the Othic welcome to Sunnyside I'm not gonna read all this now but I will slowly scroll through for you Frenchman's Island. Here's the town of Sunnyside. Nice little map for you. Biathic meet John Guy in True Sound. Wow, so I guess that's the meaning behind True Sound. I didn't realize Sunnyside had such a history. The world's first transatlantic cable. Bull Arm, Ancient Peoples. Quite a few people that worked on this fabrication site. Employed a lot of Newfoundlanders. All right, let's get a few drone clips. See what I can do here.
one's done. Now we're off to Arnold's Cove. Let's see what excitement's out that way. Alright, we're done with Sunnyside. Now, off to Arnold's Cove. I'd like to find somewhere to pull over and pee though. Because <laughs> I'm busting. I wasn't able to drink much water back there because uh, I don't think I'll be able to handle any more intake right now until I relieve some pressure. Hopefully Arnold's Cove Road isn't too bumpy. <laughs> Let's go. We made it. Got to get my gratuitous, gratuitous, is that how you say it? <laughs> Photo. To show that I was here. Because nobody's going to believe me. All right, now we can get going again. Bird sanctuary. No drones there. <laughs> it's called municipal building. Now, where to go, what to do. <laughs> I'm just gonna meander around and see what I see. Here we go. Remember I said I like boats? Look at all those boats. Sorry, I don't have anything to say right now. I'm just uh, taking in the views. I remember coming in here. It's a nice war memorial there. Posed by that the last time I was here. Looks like they're doing some uh, upkeeping on it. I 
I imagine this place is flat out when uh, their peak season hits. Is it? Looks like this is it. Patria. Traffic jam. Go down here anyway, get a clip. To say I've been down here. Nice here, isn't it? I wonder what I get in trouble for setting off my drone right here. <laughs> Maybe I should find somewhere else to park and do it. Probably the best spot to park is down there on the road, on the wharf. Especially when I don't know what's uh, what's private and what's not. Pictures in the streets. That looks like a spot I could probably park there and do my drone. I think I will. I'm just gonna pull in here and turn around.
right, I got a few drone clips. I wasn't in my absolute creative mindset, so I probably didn't get the right drone clips, but I got some. And uh, they'll work. It's a busy area, lots of traffic around, and uh, it kind of distracts me from, uh, from what I'm doing. So I think next stop, actually before we go to Southern Harbor, because that's next, I'm going to stop up here at this big statue. I forget what it is. Is it a lobster, if I remember correctly? And uh, I'm going to stop in by that lobster and boil up a coffee, I think. Have a little break. Do nothing. <laughs> Makes for a long day when you're doing this. Riding around. Filming different communities. It's a good day. It's, there's definitely worse ways to be spending my day right now. I mean, you can't beat it. Sunnyside, now Arnold's Cove, Salvation Army. It's further away than I thought. Ah yes, a deja vu. Last time I was here I had to fuel up right there. I got half a tank left. Worst case, worst case scenario. Or as Ricky would say, worst case Ontario, I'll uh, stop at uh, Whitburn and top up. It's been a long time since I watched the trailer park, boys. Alright, is it me or did this road all of a sudden get longer? My dad drove a taxi from Bjorn to St. John's on a daily basis for a few years. And he used to have to drive people all the way out here to Arnold's Cove. Some of his customers. I, he's got the patience of a saint because I don't think I'll be able to handle it. <laughs> I'd be like, meet me at the main drag. Meet me in the highway. Or meet me by the lobster. I think we're close now. Then again, I thought we were close three minutes ago. This area where I'm going to stop is also uh, the starting point of a nice uh, walking trail. My wife and one of her good friends, a co-worker of hers, or ex-co-worker, She's a nurse, and look at all that gravel. Anyway, they came out and uh, did the hike. See, this is a perfect spot to boil up a coffee. And it wasn't a lobster. <laughs> I was very close, wasn't I? I thought lobster, but pretty sure that's not a lobster. Pretty sure that's a giant anvil. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop and take a picture of that before I go over and have my coffee. A little deja vu. Hmm. Vertical, yeah. One with the ca camera focused on the anchor, one with the bike. There. <laughs>
before I break out the coffee, I'm just going to have a look at these uh, information boards first. This one there gives you a good uh, overview of the area here. Uh, there's the bird sanctuary. You can see all the wharves down here is where I stopped. Right there is where I stopped to uh, get my drone clips. What else we got here? Dedication in memory of Herbert de Brett. The war path to the Otterub. I don't even know what that means. The path most taken. History of the Drake family of Haystack. There you go. If you want to read that, you can pause it and zoom in. All right. Time to get my coffee. I've been waiting for a little while to get that. It's been, what, two, three hours since I had one? And I need one. Especially now that I found a place to pee, because I did pee back uh, where I had the, where the sunner, where the sunny side uh, sign is. Don't tell anybody. Coffee in the bag. I would love to sit out in the sun, but I'm a ginger. So I got to take advantage of shaded areas as much as possible. Yeah, it's one of the joys of being half Scottish or Irish or something. And there, perfect spot. Let's get this going. Well, bananas for coffee. <laughs> My healthy snack. Water. There's my stove. Coffee. Cup. The coffee water. And my spoons. Sure. Oh yes, a protein bar. I'll have that here as well. That's sure why I got to name off every item I take out. It's kind of a redundant. You can see it. My good old fire maple stove. It's been doing me, treating me very well the last year. I did everything backwards today. Usually I get my coffee and then I do a little walk around. <clears throat> but today I did my walk around first, which, uh, which is going to leave me bored to death as I'm sipping out of coffee. Oh well, I think I'll survive.
stem. I'm not going to drink it yet. I'm going to let it cool down for a few seconds. Sunburned lips and hot coffee don't go well together. Well, while that's cooling down, I'm going to eat my protein bear and sip on some water. Your garbage can. Good. double chocolate of those pure protein bars. These are the ones you get from Costco. These are my least favorite out of the three that comes in those packs. That caramel, coffee, mocha, something or another. That one's pretty good, but my favorite is peanut butter. It's always peanut butter. refreshing. Ice cubes are melted though. But it's still icy cold, which is perfect for this. Time for my banana. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Because the camera's way over there and I'm right here. I feel like I gotta yell, even though I got my little wireless mic here. It probably catches up, picks up every single chew or swallow I make. <laughs> if it does, I apologize because those sounds annoy me too. All right, coffee. It's going to be time for the taste test. She's ready to go. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, listen, enough with the taste test. Just drink the damn coffee, will you? Sorry. Here's my taste test. It is very tasty this time. And I did not burn my lips. It was uh, borderline, but not quite across the board. Or not afraid to cross the line. Sometimes when I get like this and I start messing up my words all the time and I'm saying things that I'm not meaning to say and get in stumbling over everything, it, it worries me a lot. Not a lot. It's half the time I forget about it. But where I'm dealing with all my mental health issues with the PTSD, the depression, the anxiety, uh, bit of ADHD, some OCD mixed in there. It's hard to uh, not think the worst when things like that happen. Like maybe I'm getting Alzheimer's. Maybe it's early signs of dementia. But these are the things that go through my head now. And ruin my moment. So I'll probably have to take another sip of coffee and hopefully it burns my lips to distract me from those thoughts. What were we talking about again? Because I have no idea. Even just sitting here is relaxing right now. Traffic is numbing, like the sound is steady. It's not like it's 
I don't know, one single car just revving by. It's a steady drone, and I find that uh, it's kind of, uh, it's almost like listening to a white noise app or something, because it drowns out all the other little noises that tend to uh, pique my attention and make me alert. How far is it the southern harbor from here, do you know? Because I'm not really sure. I don't think it's very far. We'll find out. If I remember, if I remember correctly, southern harbor, is, again, it's scenic like every other bloody community around here. So when you're going in, on the left, it opens up into almost like a saltwater pond or something. And, and then you... You drive around the ways and you come into the community. That's what I'm thinking, if I remember right. But I probably don't remember right. <laughs> While you're gone, I cleaned up, so I'm ready to go now. <laughs> but I don't want to go anywhere. I'm quite content just sitting here, hanging out. It's a nice cool breeze that's coming in through. It's just enough to be soothing. And I'm just, just not in the mood to be out in that traffic right now. That's uh, probably part of the reason. But I gotta do it. Gotta get going. Coffee's half gone. Kind of like how I feel half the time. Half gone. Well, it's three o'clock now, and I'm uh, still in Arnold's Cove, so this day is going to be dragging out a little longer than I thought. Actually, not really. I figured I'd be home supper time. So, three hours I should be home, I'd say. Can't be no more than 20 minutes to a half an hour to uh, Summerside. Spend half an hour, maybe 45 minutes there, so that's an hour. And then probably the same at uh, Little Harbor East, so it might not be so bad. But, i got to finish this coffee so I can get going. And I hate rushing my coffees. I like, it's like rushing a beer. If it was the first one, yeah, chug it. But, I was hoping to savor this one today. But I don't know who I'm rushing or why I'm rushing. It's not like I got responsibilities today at home. My son's home. He's 20. He can take care of himself and the dog. My wife has gone to New Brunswick. So I'm going to answer to her today or next few days. So it's only me that's imposing these uh, restrictions on myself. But yeah, I don't want to be at her all day anyway. All right, my coffee's gone, so it's time to go back to the bike. Sorry. All right, let's get out of here. Goodbye, Arnold's Cove. go ruts now it's time to hit south the southern harbor let's go let's do this get this done
Harbor. Please drive safe. It's in a little too far to get a photo with. Oh, wow. Those islands are to... Southern Harbor. Yes, the last time I was here, the tide was right out, and this was all exposed. Oh, rickety fences, rickety fences. It's windy. It's always windy on the Avalon. That's nice, those uh, boats for flower beds. Quite creative, some people are. I'm not creative like that. But it looks at that water, I'm flying my drone out this way. I know this is a dead end. Actually, yeah, it is a dead end. <laughs> you can see the end. I was about to go in there. It's a driveway. School bus. Where do they go to school to? Newfoundland definitely does not have any shortage of scenery. What's the road and what's not? Definitely a fishing community. Southern Harbor, small craft harbors. That's what I was saying before, how all the different communities have almost like the same layout. Yes, it's ending soon. I would say this is it for this spot. Maybe not. Go a little further, see what else is at her. So this will be my turn and spot. Look at that. Gotta get off and take a picture.
I mean, look at that. Hopefully you can hear me with the wind, but definitely no drone out this way today, unfortunately. Unless maybe back in that cove further when we first came in, I'd be able to get some. Because it was a little sheltered more back there. Now you get to watch me take my picture. Uh, my seat keeps blowing over. Ah. Uh. Are you enjoying me taking pictures? <laughs> you get to see. Here, you can look at me as I'm walking around. In case you're bored. And the selfie. Locals are probably looking out through their windows at me now, thinking, what the heck is he doing? I'm admiring your community. That's what I'm doing. I'm looking at how beautiful this spot is. Southern Harbor. And as you've seen, well, you never noticed, but it's only... Uh, It's only four kilometers from the Trans-Canada, so it's not like you uh, have far to go. Looks like people have fire here, old burnt wood. Alright, back on the bike. Again, I don't know why I had to tell you that. Those manhole covers are about three inches off the road. <laughs> Get those, you're gonna, your arse is gonna pop off the seat, that's for sure. It's funny, it was in the 20s when I left St. John's, and out here in Southern Harbor, it's 15 degrees. So I'm kind of cool because I did take off one layer, which I didn't need when I was back at Arnold's Cove or Sunnyside. Beautiful. I love just boats and ocean. I got one of those gel seats put on my uh, seat. And where it was so windy back there when I sat down, it was bunched up, so it's kind of crinkled there underneath my butt right now. I think I will find a spot around here to get my drone up just for a clip or two. Somewhere close to shore. The 
used to go down there and there's nobody around. See, I'm so indecisive and I miss out my opportunities. Like, there are two or three places back there I could have stopped and did put my drone up, but I overthink everything and it pisses me off. It's awkward walking backwards down a driveway. Especially when you're steep. Alright, are going back and forth yet? We've still got little Harbor East to do. I'd love to be out here on a nice day. Yeah, this looks like good enough of a spot. Christina, I can't remember, I can't remember, I can't remember, I can't make out what the other uh, word is, it's just Christina. A few boats around, hey? Had to walk around and show you. I did get some drone clips, as you've just seen, and they were a struggle to get because the drone, I could have sworn it was going to flip over at one point. Lolly Lorraine. All the crab pots. So the gentleman I was just talking to said that in the evenings this place dies right down, the wind goes away, and it's just right calm. So I'm not coming back this evening though. But the last time I was here the tide must have been out quite a bit because all that over there was dried right out and I remember a couple boats being uh, belly up over there. Alright, time to get out of here. Where next? Oh yes, English Harbor East. And it is quarter to four. 
Oops, my back uh, trunk is open. What is hooking? There we go. The joys of technology. Are you ready? <clears throat> I'm almost ready. Now I'm ready. Cape Mill. Alright, adios Southern Harbor. I feel like I drove this road ten times today. <laughs> if there's anybody out sitting around out front watching me, they're probably well entertained. It takes a lot of time to go through different communities and uh, even just to ride through and film like I'm doing with my action cameras. Let alone when you got to stop all the time and uh, throw your drone up too. But it's all well spent. Time well spent is how I'd put it. Because I'm getting out, I'm out of the house, and I'm out around enjoying our province. Anyway, we got 14 minutes to go until we reach uh, English Harbor East, so I'm going to shut up now and enjoy the ride. Alright ladies and gentlemen, Southern Harbor, actually sorry, English Harbor East, Little Harbor East, oh my god, it's getting close to the end of the day, Little Harbor East, this is why I'm not a uh, lead singer of a band up on a stage, because I'd never get the communities right when you're announcing, hello St. John's, hey dumbass you're in Cornerbrook. well, way to go here. I'm going to go over that way afterwards. Yes, I'm having deja vu now, because I parked on the other side of the harbor the last time I was here.
Can't get a break from the wind here at all in the Avalon. It's like as soon as the sun comes out, it's like the wind just gusts. More, <laughs> more boats. Well, this road ends up here. Find a spot to turn around. It's not so bad coming back this way. Yeah, I think Newfoundland has too many little harbors and English harbors. Little bays. It's like there was no communication back and forth when deciding place names. just kicked in saying I arrived a little late Google Maps because I've been here five minutes need a quad to ride out here This, where I'm going to stop now, is the exact same spot I parked the last time, I'm pretty sure. Alright, I'll see you after I do some drone clips. I get to use my head as a tripod. I just walk around with my helmet on. <laughs> Yeah, this is the exact spot I was last year, or two years ago. Nice little fishing community. Love the old rustic look of all the uh, all the old stages and that, all the old sheds, stores, whatever you want to call them. I call them stages. Alright motorcycle, let's get that drone out and try it here. Doesn't seem to be as windy here as it was over in, uh, uh, what was the last place I was at? Southern Harbor, yeah.
to believe that love is a bet. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose and sometimes it calls you right in the move. Come to my table, come to my bed, go easy my hunger, easy my head, bring All right, so how was that? Got a few communities in today, four in total. That's pretty good, I think. <laughs> anyway, now that we've got those behind us, it's time to shut her down. I got about uh, 125 kilometers to go before I'm home. I'm not going to drag you along with me for that. I'm going to end this video here in a few seconds. But first, I just want to uh, thank you again for watching. I truly do appreciate the comments and uh, and the support behind it. It's uh, it's good for me. It gets me out of the house and it gets me doing things, and that's why I do it partially. It's one of the reasons. There's many reasons, but uh, getting out of the house, and clearing the head, is one of them, and it's a uh, it's a crucial one. Put it that way. So anyway, today we've seen Sunnyside, Arnold's Cove, Southern Harbor, and Little Harbor East. Oh, I got them right. <laughs> so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I uh, hope to see you again next time in my next video. Which I'm not sure where it'll be. Where, where it'll be. I'm uh, debating on a nice ride up to Great's Cove to the Bacalow Trail on Tuesday and spending an overnighter. Uh, up around Great Scope somewhere. We'll see how that goes. Depending on the weather as well. So there's more to come. Different things. I'm hoping to do a bit more hiking as well. Get out my legs, get out my feet, move around. I mean, yeah, riding motorcycle is uh, a little bit of a workout. I mean, my core is engaged. You know, gripping onto the handlebars and all that kind of stuff. So it's working my triceps and my shoulders. If I want, I can even do some push-ups like this on the way. Just kidding. I don't do any of that stupid stuff. Not on, not on a bike. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to do a few different things. Uh, a mixture of hiking, biking, and there was a third, but I forget. <laughs> Typical. My brain, my brain is shot. It's, uh, it's horrible. Anyway, this is probably like 59 minutes long now, so uh, I'm going to go. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.